So today we're going to show you how to edit the pitch and timing of your vocals using the VST3 version of Repitch within Ableton Live. For this tutorial, I'm using Ableton Live 11. Now, if you're using an older version of Live, please refer to our website to see if your version is supported. Lastly, this video is to help get you started. More in-depth tutorials can be found on our website. So let's get to it. Before we start processing, let's listen to what we're working with. Just cause I don't want you birds It doesn't mean I won't find another I don't wanna know your name Don't need your dreams, no You can keep your number Okay, so I think on the whole that vocal sounds great, but let's say for sake of demonstration that we want to have this tuned 100% in the most natural and transparent way possible. All right, so the first step is we need to get this audio from the Ableton timeline sent over to Repitch. So I'm going to select my vocal track and under VST3, we're going to head down to the Synchro Arts folder and let's drag an instance of Repitch over to this track. Now, before we get started, we have a couple different options. For example, if we wanted to have some pre-processing that would be applied, we have the option to actually apply a macro. So if we head to the vocal folder over here, you can see that Synchro Arts have provided some presets for us. So for example, this one, snap all to note centers 100%, would snap the whole entire performance to the nearest semitone. That being said, I'm gonna leave this set to no pre-process and I wanna use some of the tools available from within here for this video. Now, in order to get this audio sent over, the only thing we need to do is capture arm this plugin. I'm going to select this clip and let's go ahead and transfer this. Just cause I don't want you birds It doesn't mean I won't find another I don't wanna know your name Don't need your dreams, no You can keep your number All right, so now that we have the vocal captured, let's talk about a quick couple navigation tips. We have this scroll bar over here. We can drag this from left to right to reposition. In addition, we can drag the handles if we wanted to see less or more of a specific section. We also have a couple useful key command modifiers. So for example, holding down Option Command on a Mac or Alt Control on a PC gives us the ability to dynamically zoom, and this is both vertical and horizontal. Holding Shift Command on a Mac or Shift Control on a PC gives us the ability to click, hold, and drag to reposition things. Or we can use a combination of all of these. Now, in terms of engaging playback, we can double click directly from within the editor. Just cause I don't want you, babe. And double click to stop, or we could use the spacebar to stop. I won't find another. And this will allow us to play directly from within the editor, and we're going to hear things in a soloed context. Now, another couple useful key commands is being able to select across multiple pitch blocks and we can hold down the Z key and that'll zoom that into focus. So that should help get you started. Now, I'm going to take a look at how I want to approach this and I think that probably the best way would be quite simply to select all of these simply by drawing a lasso selection around everything. Maybe we'll zoom this into view as much as possible, reposition this, and I'm going to pull up the center notes tool. Notice when I slide this over to the right, notice everything just kind of falling into place. It's being pushed to the nearest semitone. Let's have a listen to this result. I'm just going to click my cursor in the timeline here and we can double click just to play. I don't want you, babe. It doesn't mean I won't find another. I don't want to know your name. Don't need your dreams. No. Okay, just as a reminder of where we started. Just cuz I don't want you, babe. It doesn't mean I won't find enough. Okay, so I'm happy with those results. I'm going to dial this back up to 100%. There's only one area that I heard that needs fixing. I'm going to switch back to the selector tool and let's use our option command modifier to just zoom into this particular section. I'm going to use S to grab my split tool and let's split this note. So this has put this in what I think is going to be a more natural position and I'm going to click the S key again and let's just double click this to bring this back to where I think it needs to be. While we're at it, we could use the draw tool to just smooth out this transition over here. All right, so now let's have a really quick listen and then let's render. Just cause I don't want you, babe. It doesn't mean I won't find another. I don't want to know your name. Okay, perfect. That works for me. 
So now that we have our vocal editing done and I'm happy with the end result, we're going to render this so that we can continue with our project. And the way that I'm going to do this in Ableton, so I'm simply going to select this track, we're going to right click and I'm going to freeze this track. Now, if I wanted to continue with any additional processing that I wanted to have downstream, I'm just gonna right click one more time and flatten this. Now, if I wanted to add any other effects, such as for example, an EQ to this performance, this is something that I can do and I can continue to mix and work with my project. Let's have a listen to the end result. Just cause I don't want you birds, it doesn't mean I won't find another. I don't want to know your name, don't need your dreams, no, you can keep your number. So that's using the VST3 version of Repitch from within Ableton Live. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you in the next one.